Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to Detail Garage. On this episode, we have a Shagadelic Shaguar here in the Detail Garage that needs to be cleaned up. Now, I'm just working on the wheels, almost done, and as soon as I finish here, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a brand new Torque Foam Blaster. Oh, and uh, in case you didn't know what show you're watching, we got an extra sign. <laughs> Now today we're showing you how to set up your brand new Torque Foam Blaster Foam Gun. This is a great tool for any enthusiast or professional detailer who wants to add a lot of extra foamy suds to the car wash without investing in an expensive pressure washer to use a foam cannon. Foam cannon uses high pressure water to spray thick shaving cream level foam over a vehicle. With a foam gun, you can keep up with the big boys. You can spray tons of soapy slick suds to help avoid installing any swirls or scratches during a car wash. And all you need to use your foam gun it's a standard garden hose that attaches straight on to the end of the garden hose. Now, with your Torque foam gun, the new Torque Foam Blaster foam gun has improved internals and an improved nozzle for extra foamy suds with less soap. And it's more efficient. You get more pressure out of a standard garden hose with the improved nozzle, which also has some refined components to help resist corrosion to promote the longevity of the unit. Now, the uh, nozzle you can use it by itself just to rinse down the car. It attaches to the foam gun with a quick release system. So you snap it on so you can use it to spray foam or just rinse the car down before or after the wash. Now the nozzle itself also comes with a quick, <laughs> quick. The nozzle itself also comes with a quick release system. Now, uh, if you can't attach this to your hose, you can simply unscrew it. But if you do have your own type of a shutoff valve with a quick release system, you can simply snap it in so you can switch between different types of nozzles without shutting off the hose at the spigot. So I'll just set that down. Now I'll attach the foam blaster nozzle right onto my garden hose. There we go. Now I'm ready to start rinsing down the car and washing the car and I can foam it whenever I'm ready. So to set up your foam blaster, all you need to do is fill it up with some water. I've already pre-filled the 32 ounce soap solution bottle with water. Now you fill it up with 32 ounces of water and you can add one to three ounces of your favorite car wash soap. So today I'm gonna to be using Mr. Pink. This is my favorite car wash soap. I'm just gonna add two ounces because this car actually has a pretty thick layer of dust on it. I don't wanna scratch anything as I go. So after you add your soap, Reattach the top of the foam cannon. Just give it a quick shake just to mix up all the soap solution in the bottle. Now the torque has a dial on the top. This just helps you uh, choose the uh, amount of foam, the thickness of the foam as you're spraying. So, so all you need to do is turn this knob as you're spraying the foam until you get the uh, required thickness and amount of foam to suit your needs. So I have my two bucket system set up here. I'm gonna wash the car. I don't wanna install any extra swirls or scratches. I have the second bucket to rinse off any dirt from the wash mitt before I get extra soap. I also have my dirt trap wash screens. This is gonna help me separate any dirt out from the wash water. Again, just to help guard against installing any extra swirls or scratches by dragging any of that loose dirt back across the paintwork. Now, just like that, you fill up your buckets with water and then you insert the dirt trap all the way at the bottom. Now, I have different colored dirt traps that just helps me separate between my wash bucket and my rinse bucket or a wheel bucket. You can use any system you want as long as you keep it straight. Now, I'll just add one to three ounces of Mr. Pink in the soap bucket. I'll just use two. Now, I'll suds up the bucket with a nozzle. There we go. And I have a bear claw wash pad just to help me wash the car in a gentle way without installing any scratches as I go. And you can see this holds tons of soap and tons of suds. So now that I have all this set up, I need to just rinse down the car. So I'm going to rinse down the car to help loosen any of the stuck on grime and just rinse away any of the loose dirt that's on the surface. Now you want to rinse the car from top to bottom. This car actually has a convertible top, so I'm going to avoid the fabric top as best as I can. It's okay to get it a little bit wet, but I'm just going to avoid saturating the top of the water. I'm going to clean that later on with the convertible top cleaner and a brush. So I'm going to start just by rinsing the paintwork from the top down to the bottom of the car. So 
now that the car is rinsed down, I'm ready to start foaming down the car for an extra slick, extra safe wash on the vehicle. Now I just come over, grab my torque foam gun, pull back the quick release barb here, and snap the foam gun right in. And just like that, the foam gun is attached. You can just give it a quick test to make sure it's not gonna fall off. And now as I start spraying foam on the car, I'm gonna turn the dial until I get the perfect thickness of foam. So you can see starting from here, it's pretty thin. You turn the dial a few clicks until you start getting some thicker foam all over the car. That does mean you are using more soap per gallon of water flowing through the hose. But uh, if you need extra lubrication, this is the safest way to do things. Another way you can use this foam gun, you can pull off the front nozzle. You notice it kind of has a little plus shape in here. So you can have it spray foam in a vertical pattern, like if you need to cover a whole side of a car quickly, or you can have it spray in a horizontal pattern if you need to cover a lot of flat areas in a fast way. Either way is fine. You can use whichever way suits your needs. I'm gonna go with a vertical pattern. Now, as far as actually foaming down the car, there's a couple different methods detailers like to use. They either like to foam down the entire car at once and then start wiping with a mitt, or you can actually spray the foam gun directly into the mitt with every wipe. That gives you the most lubrication per swipe. If you're dealing with an extra sensitive surface or a very dark car, you don't wanna show any swirls after you wash the car. This car actually has a fairly durable vinyl wrap. I'm not too worried about it, and there's not a lot of dirt on the car to begin with. So I'm just gonna foam down the whole car and then wipe it with a mitt as usual to help remove all this dirt without installing any swirls or scratches in the vinyl wrap. So now we're moving on to the car wash with the full detail on this Jaguar. Now I'm gonna be using the Bear Claw Wash Pad to actually wipe off all the dirt, grime, and debris without installing any swirls or scratches. As you can see, this synthetic lamb's wool mitt is extremely absorbent. It holds tons of soap, tons of suds, and a lot of soap. So as I wipe gently across the surface, I'm not gonna install any scratches in the painted finish or any vinyl wraps like we have on this Jaguar. Now I'm wiping in one direction and the lamb's wool mitt actually helps pick up and trap any abrasive dirt particles in the synthetic fur. So the bear claw will actually help pick up and hold the dirt away from the surface so I'm not going to scratch anything as I clean the car. Now it's easy to grip, that's two big sides so I can easily wipe down a lot of the surface of the vehicle with one pass. And now that the mitt is saturated with dirt and the surface is clean, I'll come over to my second bucket here that's filled with just plain water. And I'll scrub the mitt directly on the dirt trap surface. So this is pushing the dirt out from the fibers underneath the dirt trap. So when I pull it out, it's nice and clean. And just to help purge any last minute dirt from the system, I'll just wring out the mitt on the ground so when I come back to the soap bucket I have no dirt and no abrasive particles in the wash mitt. Now I'll continue washing the whole car as normal with the Bear Claw wash pad. <laughs> So now you see how easy it is to turn any car wash or full detail into a fun foam party using the Torque Foam Blaster Foam Gun. 
Now you don't need any special equipment, you don't need any pressure washers. All you need to use a foam gun is your normal garden hose. Simply attach the nozzle, attach the foam gun, and then you're ready to spray your car with tons of soapy suds to avoid installing any swirls and any scratches. So if you want to learn more about the Torque Foam Blaster Foam Gun, you can check it out on the Chemical Guys website. Links are right below in the description. If you want to learn more top detailing tips and tricks from the professionals, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have over 900 videos showing you how to do just about anything. You got a nice car? Let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys.